thanks for joining us for uh, going through your end of financial year payroll or payroll year end, um, a process that needs to be done uh, every year uh, and reporting it to the ATO, which is through our single touch payroll. So the reason that you need to do this is your employees uh, obviously want to go get their taxes done, but you as a business owner need to make sure that your payroll is correct. You need to um, send it sending like a message to the ATO, ATO to say, yep, I've checked all my employees, I've paid them all correctly, and um, now they can, the data I've given you is correct so they can, you know, process their, their, um, their tax returns utilising, you know, the information that you've passed on. Um, and, with, you know, the finalisation is what we, the term that we commonly use. So where to get started? I think the easiest thing to do is you grab the zero checklist that they've created because it's a really... It's a really thorough checklist that you can go through um, and utilise, and that's what we're going to briefly go through today in the demo company. So I have in the chat box added the link so you can actually go into the area where that checklist is. So I'll show you um, in here, and then you can download that checklist and put it in your file, print it off, or just you know keep a copy of it as to what process you went through in finalising. Uh, and the checklist comes up like this as a PDF. And it's really quite um, extensive on what it is you need to do firstly. So if you've got that, if you download that checklist and have it beside you, that's not working for me. Hold on. Apologies for that. Mm -hmm. Sorry, bear with me for a second. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing here. I think I've got it right now. <laughs> Hopefully that was okay. So I've got the checklist here on one side of the screen and now I've got the demo zero file here that I'm going to go through. So firstly, what you need to check is in your settings space. You might go, well, this is a bit of a waste of time, but you know, how long since you've checked your settings? So to do that, you're just going to hit your drop down and you're going to go into your settings areas. You're going to make sure that your ABN is up to date and your branch. So we all should know where to find that in our organisational settings. Have a look there, what you are, and there should be like a branch number in here. Normally it's 002 because um, that's your activity reporting account in there where your pay should go withholding those. Uh, then the next step to have a look at under your settings is to go into your payroll settings. You want to make sure that you're reporting all your pay items correctly. So we just go into our payroll settings. And in here, what we're having a look at is our pay items. And we're making sure that our earnings, are the earnings items that we have within our payroll system, depending on whether you have a complex payroll system or whether it's a pretty standard basic one, will depend on how many earnings lines that you have. Uh, but in essence, what we're looking at is what's reportable on the W1. So what's been reported through single touch payroll to the ATO. So when you're doing paying your ordinary hours, uh, normally that should be set to a yes because you want that one reported to the ATO. So you're checking that all your settings are correct. Now, it doesn't hurt just to have a look two seconds ago, yeah, all my settings are right because you just never know you might find something wrong. So make sure that your, your W1 reportings are correct. If you're not sure what it should be, utilise the different guides that they've also linked within um, the zero checklist as well, which is really great about the line items. Have a look at your deductions to see whether or not um, where you're reporting it from, so excluding from W1 or not, in your reimbursements area, and obviously your leave area as well to see what those settings are telling you. Now, so we've checked that. So what we want to do is we want to have a look at our employee details report. So how do we do that? So we're going to go to, um, sorry, reporting. So go accounting and go to reports. And we're looking at our employees. Uh, so you've got your employees um, contact details report. So I can star that. And so now I could actually go to my drop down and find it here. So that's how you star those particular reports that you want, or you can just click straight through to it. So in this area, what we're going to do is see what comes out. So I can see all of my employees from the team. 
the dates, making sure their ages, their addresses, um, you know, their contact details, etc., is all up to date. It's a, you know, it's a good check to do throughout the year as well. But obviously, at the end of financial year, why not just go in and make sure that everything's been updated? Maybe someone said the other day they were getting their pay slips. Maybe their email address has changed and it wasn't quite right. You need to fix it. So you're doing that um, those settings. So now, so you've checked your uh, back end, is what I call it. The settings, you're happy, you're ready to move on to the next stage of the checks. So the first lot of steps now is to making sure that you're all reconciled. So going into your um, dashboard, making sure that you've reconciled, obviously, all of your accounts. Now, if you haven't done that, you might just need to go in and just reconcile any outstanding um, pay items that you need to reconcile. So maybe you run payroll on the 30th and you haven't reconciled that particular item, go into your um, reconciliation reconciliation page and make sure you reconcile that pay item in there. We then need to go through this particular um, uh, checklist and we also want to check to make sure in our payroll section that have we ran all of our payroll for the financial year and have we filed it all. In front of you, you can see on the demo company, for instance, that nothing has been STP filing. So you would need to go through now and file all of those pay runs to the ATO. Um, it's, yeah, it's really important that they've already got that. So they'll have the information. And then when you do your finalisation, you're giving it that stamp of approval. So make sure that all of your pay runs for the financial year are ran correctly and sent through to the ATO. Now, another report you can then do is confirming that in this area where we've checked our bank accounts and the reconciliation is actually running a bit of an account transaction report. So that's not within this, in this particular um, checklist, but it's a really good report to run just to make sure that everything's balancing. So that's the account transaction report that we go to. And all I'm focusing on at the moment is our payroll space. So I'm looking at our wages, our two, like our debits, debits and credits in there, obviously for the last financial year. And I'm going to have a look at it. And what I would want to do is be checking that it's balanced. If you run that report for yourself in your um, entity that you're looking after and running payroll in, you would see that um, you'd obviously have left and right, so credits and debits and making sure it balances. Because I'm in the demo company, the data is um, the payroll items don't particularly come through so there's um, unfortunately I can't really do anything about that I don't think we want to share um, any other live zero files but um, it's just letting you know that this report's a really good one and down the bottom you want to make sure it balances on the um, debits and credit side because it could be that it might be out by 2500 and you might be like oh it's because I haven't reconciled or I have maybe I haven't paid that that pay run I'm paying it late which a, is naughty but um, you know, work out why it's not balancing in there before you go any further. So then it talks about running a couple of reports that you need to do. And everything we've done up until this stage, checking our settings, um, checking that our pay runs are filed, making sure that our account, everything's been, um, you know, STP filed as well in our pay runs, leads up to this particular reports that we're going to run now and they hopefully should balance. So what those reports are is we've got our payroll activity summary report and our trial balance report. So you can go to reports and find them, or you can see I've already favorited them here to have a look at. So I've got my payroll activity summary report, obviously for the financial year that we're completing. This is what I wanna do, so last financial year is there and then I want to run my trial balance report I'll just move this one over here now so that we can see it so I've got these two reports and so what am I looking at what are they telling me so on the checklist, you'll, whoop, you'll notice here that it says your total earnings, you need to check that they match within the activity summary report and the trial balance report. 
So in the trial balance report, we're looking for total wages and salary, and in the payroll activity report, we're looking for total earnings. So this is the payroll activity summary report, and the total earnings is this number here, that 78,000. So now let's have a look at the trial report, and we were looking at wages. So here you can see that um, the wages here are sitting at 40,000. So there's a discrepancy there, what's going on. This being a demo company, there's always, you know, it always, is always going to be make it hard. But for yourselves, if they're out of balance in that space, maybe you need to go back and run that account transaction report again and try and find out which pay, you know, what was the pay date where it went out of balance. And you might have to do um, a bit of a cleanup, which we can talk about at the end. So in this case, let's hopefully they've all balanced so the earnings lines are correct. Now we're looking at our total super, so they should match. So we want to look at the total superannuation on the trial balance report and the total super on the payroll activity summary report. So we've got our superannuation. Uh, let's see if I can find it. You guys are probably staring right at it going, Celeste, it's right there. <laughs> um, Probably because it is a demo company, it doesn't have the superannuation because that's not getting processed or paid. But here you can see there's the superannuation line here in there. So another way to look is looking for that amount. Um, yeah, no, it's it, not on that particular. It, 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 I can it'll normally be near the 825 accounts list with the page you go withholding. Yeah. Like you're normally you're sitting around there, so just keep an eye out for superannuation payable. Down there. And so you'll be able to match those two up. And then the next one on the checklist was the total tax. So that pays you go withholding one. So let's jump in and have a quick squeeze if we can see that. So we knew that's the pay as you go withholding. So it's sitting at 9,000. And then we've got our pay here. So that's sitting at 8,000 here. So we can see that there's obviously in the demo company a little bit of a discrepancy. So that means you've got some work to do. And that's why you run these reports to see if there is anything that's out of balance. If your file matches in those areas, that's a thumbs up. You've obviously been got good processes behind you in running your payroll. And if, if you, and um, you know, obviously keep doing what you're doing in that particular space. So now we're happy with that, or aren't we? If they don't match, that's where we have to run an adjustment, which is a whole process um, that you need to work through. If you need to run adjustments, it's about identifying where the problem is and why you think the problem occurred. And then if you need assistance in that space, by all means, reach out um, for some help from us or utilise the guides um, that are there within Zero for you to run those particular adjustments. So now we've done our checks, we're happy with our balances, there's no adjustments we need to do. That's when we go in to do the finalisation. And the finalisation is a click of a button. But if, I was, if this demo company was my file and I clicked it, the data that I'm saying is correct to the ATO is wrong. So therefore it would affect all of your team members running, um, getting their tax done. So they'd have to do amendments later on because you got it wrong. So it's really important that it's correct. So to do the finalisation, we go to payroll and we're just going to click on single touch payroll. And we want to do the finalisation stage. So remember that nothing was actually filed to the ATO because we're the demo company. Um, so I'm going to proceed to finalisation. And you'll notice that it's actually coming up with some warnings here saying it's not filed. So in your checks, you would have solved that problem. What's important to note is on your employee space is that it also lists their employment status. So if you don't have, um, you know, in this case, there's four employees, but if you've actually terminated one of them, there's only three, we well, need to go back into your zero employee files and terminate them so that that's reported to the ATO that they're a terminated employee. It's about keeping everything neat and tidy um, in your file and obviously accurate. Uh, so in this case, we can see here that Sally worked throughout the year, but she was obviously terminated throughout the year for whatever reasons. And so I'm pretty happy with that. 
happy with what's coming on. I can view the report as well and have a look at it year to date. So that's the summary in that space or you can do it by employees. So if you wanted to run different separate reports, maybe you wanna print these reports out and just keep them on file as to um, what, what you had, that might, you might wanna keep those employee records it's up to you. You also want, might wanna have a look at their fringe, uh, reportable fringe benefits if they have any. So just go back and finalization and you'll notice there's a button down the bottom here that you can show terminated employees if they had a reportable fringe benefit, you could add that on there as to highlight it or you can darken it. In this case, there is nothing. But if your employees don't have anything showing up when you know that they should, that's where you can edit it here, utilising this button to edit the reportable fringe benefits. Uh, it's obviously complex in that fringe benefit tax space and that's where we obviously encourage you to seek assistance if you believe that you need to do some alterations in here. Um, but this is the area where you're gonna key in those numbers uh, in, or and save those changes as needed. So you've updated, we've got those reportable fringe benefit taxes in there. And then it's, it's as simply as submitting that finalization. So we highlight all the employees that we wanna finalize and then you click the button that says submit finalization. Uh, in this case, we're in the demo, so it's not going to allow us. It's just like filing STP on a, with your pay runs. It's just going to come up with a warning dialog box. You're going to click on it, and then it's going to shoot it through to the ATO so that um, you'll finalise your pay roll um, for the 2024 financial year. Obviously, this has got to be done before the 14th. The sooner you get it done, the sooner your team members can go and do their own tax returns. So, you know... Uh, I suppose be that diligent business that um, enables your team members to go and do that. There is a few other things on the checklist that you can have a look at, and that is processing any adjustments. So running those unscheduled pay runs, maybe you've already filed the pay, but there's a process you need to do to do an amendment on that. Make sure you have a look at the um, information that's provided by Zero on those steps you need to do. And um, also, with superannuation, obviously that date has passed, uh, but making sure that you know, you've know you paid up on all your superannuation, do your checks, um, and if you haven't, obviously reach out because there's a process you need to go through if you haven't paid your super on time for your team members um, throughout the year. Uh, has anyone got any questions? I can't see anything in the box at all. So hopefully that was of help for you on you know, getting started on running your your payroll, uh, sorry, your end of financial year payroll checks. And this checklist is a great tool. Yes. Sorry, can you copy that link and paste it into the chat for people yep. to take? It's already there. Can nope. you see? Oh, no, it was from earlier. Sorry. Yep. Go on. Yep. No, that's that. fine. That's fine. Um, but if no one, if you didn't. We'll send it out in the email. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, great checklist to utilise, making sure that, yeah, just go through this particular process that um, obviously a Zero has made it really easy for us all to follow. All right, well, I think I'll leave it there. Don't want to waste any of your time and good luck. And if you need any assistance, make sure you reach out and uh, we can give you a hand. Thank you very much. Cheers.